Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone Come back with me Hanata Syarida Dianira And you can call me Caca I'm from class A And my ID number 19122149018 and C. In this time I will give you information About stethoscope Let's check it out What is a stethoscope? A stethoscope is a medical instrument used to hear sounds made by heart, lungs, and intestines. Using a stethoscope to hear sounds is called auscultation. Look at my hand. It's a stethoscope. A stethoscope has four basic parts. Diaphragm, diaphragm, bell, earpiece and tube diaphragm the diaphragm is the large side and circular piece at the end of the chest piece the part we place on the patient to listen this is provides the frequencies and sounds that you hear bell it focuses more of lower frequency sounds that may not easily be detected by the diaphragm. Earpiece. This is simply the piece that goes into your ears. It should feel soft and fit perfectly into the ear canal. Tube. This is what transports the sound's transmission from the chest piece to the earpiece and allows you to hear the sounds. Let's talk about how to use the stethoscope. Choose a quiet place to use a stethoscope. Look for areas to ensure you can listen to the sound of the patient's body and not be disturbed by the noise or hustle and bustle of the room. Position the patient. Make sure that the patient is positioned properly can make auscultation either very easy or very difficult. Adjust the earpieces. Be sure that the earpieces are facing forward and also be sure that they fit snugly in your ear to keep out ambient noise. Specify to use diaphragm or belt. The diaphragm or fast side of the stethoscope drum is the better used to listen to a high pitch sound. Well, our concave side of the stethoscope drum is a better used to listen to low pitch sounds. Place the diaphragm to the patient's skin. Try to place the stethoscope directly on the patient's skin. This will give you the best result. I think that's all I give you all information all about stethoscope. I hope you guys can practice at home. Thank you for your attention. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.